How We Make Movies is brought to you by Microsoft Surface, Assimilate, Azo and AJA, Moviola, and Canon Hollywood. I think your role as a um, producer is so mysterious to so many people, I, I th especially independent filmmakers. Like, getting to the point where you know people with money who may be willing to give it to you and then what you have to do or say or present in a meeting, like, how did you get, how did you become prepared in your career for that and, and like, when did it switch over for, for you? Well, you know, I think that there's a, there's a lot of different kinds of producers. Yeah. Um, and independent films, since there really is no established financing to make independent films like there is in other countries, um, you have to get equity financing if you're completely independent. So it's just like being an entrepreneur. Yeah. It's like starting a business, convincing someone that you're going to be able to make this business profitable, that it, you know you have a good business plan. You start small, and it's it's always about leveraging the small thing that you have for something bigger. So you you can, you have to convince someone to give you even if it's just a little bit of money. You have to convince someone to give you some even if their money is contingent on you putting the rest of the pieces together. Mm -hmm. Like you present a, a you know a a script saying, these are the kind of actors that we're going to go for. Will you give us money if we score these actors? And they give you a, a commitment. It's not that they've actually cut you a check, but they say, yes, I'll, you know, mm -hmm. I'll give you this amount of money if you can get this level of actor. So then you get the actor saying that you already have the money because this person has guaranteed that they'll give you the money. Do they sign something guaranteeing that? Nope. Mm -hmm. Wow. So it's, it's definitely, it's a, it's, it's, it's kind of hard to do. But it's not yeah. the pursuit of art. <laughs> art. We're not, you know, yeah, just trying to make a Yeah, but at the same time, buck. it's still business, you know? Like, the, the marrying of those two is something that's so unique to the film industry. You don't have to deal with that if you're an opera singer. You don't have to deal with that if you're a painter. It's a very different thing. Mm -hmm. It's just like if you're opening a restaurant and you're, you're going you're gonna to say, um, I'm going to get this level you know, I'm gonna get this kind of, this chef and this, you know, but you have to get the initial, the initial money, that first money. Yeah. Somebody who believes in the project, they're believing in it, not for, not for the actors, not for, not for the business plan, because they truly believe in, in the concept and the vision. And yeah. that, um, that, that initial person to me is a true producer who, who can believe in something before it has stars attached, before yeah. it has, you know, um, it's already a train about to leave the station. This, the person who thinks, okay, I believe in this because I believe in the art. And yeah. that's um, really, he, he has to sell it. It's not even me. Like, I just put people in a room with him. <laughs> and, then, and then he convinces them. I put them. my own money into it. Yeah, yeah. so. And I got, I, I, I raised 200,000 off one Facebook post. What? Does, does anyone want to produce a movie, be a producer? There's no one way to get people. Yeah. Yeah. You just try a bunch of shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so it's a kind of a you know independent f filmmaking is is a lot of like pay to play. You have to find financing to be a producer, or you have to put in the equity of actually doing all the producing. So that's why I'm really glad that the PGA has started using the PGA mark. What is that? Um, because the PGA mark designates the producer who actually did all of the producing work. Like line producing? Um, no, oh. just I mean that's a separate position, but the person who oversees the line producer, okay. the person who signs off on, on the budget, who signs off on the schedule, oh. who over does all the contracts. So that you can note that it's not just a title. A money person. It's not just someone who said, here's, here's I'm going to cut you a check and then come to set. You know, so, yeah. so sometimes there's different levels of producers mm -hmm. and they're all important and they, in, in this day and age in making independent film, you need as many producers as you can get. That's why a lot of times when there's 10, 12 producers listed on a screen, yeah, because you need them all. You know, they're all important, and it's and they're not just, you know, um, a vanity title. They're all essential because the nature of independent film means that you have you need all the help you can get. Mm -hmm.